Hello, my name is Bethany Stahl. I'm a full-time author and illustrator, and today we are going to be talking about InDesign layers. Ooh. So before we get into that, I am going to be working from a template that is available to download through my Patreon page. So if you go over to patreon.com slash Bethany Stahl and you join my self club squad or higher, you will have access to this document. And if you are working in your own InDesign document, the same thing will apply. So let's go in here and look at what the heck layers are. So before we do this, let me explain really quick what a layer is. So in Adobe programs and other programs that are similar, you will have the option of creating layers. What this means is I can put my image on one layer and then on a new layer, which is like a new page that's invisible, I can put my text. So basically, if I peel away this layer, I'll only have my illustrations. Or if I put this layer and I peel away this one behind it, I'll only have my text. But together, they make a complete book. A lot of people like this because you don't have to play with arranging and making sure your illustration's in the very back and your text is in the very front. So you can definitely do it that way. There's nothing wrong with that way. But if you want to be hyper organized, you may want to use layers to separate your information. So if you are in design and you go over to window and you click on layers, you will have this little layers option brought up and you may see it here over here with these two little squares. So what we are going to do is go down here and click create a new layer. Now for this layer, I am going to double click it and rename it illustrations. And again, if you are downloading my template or if you downloaded it, you'll see this is already done for you. And then up here I can put text. So on my illustrations, if I let it go, I can see all of these things that are under here. So I can see these two little things, but you can see that this is outlined in blue, which means it's on my illustrations layer. So I'm going to delete this and delete this. Now I'm going to click on my text layer and put this in. And as you can see now that's highlighted in red. So that matches that layer and I can put this in here too and I have my text in here. So if I take away this eyeball, now my text is gone. Now it's back. Now my illustrations are gone. My text is still there, but it's white. And now it's back. So this is a good way to stay organized or if you want to export a spread or anything like that. Um, it's not something that is necessary to do, but it is definitely a way that you can keep yourself a little more organized. So this is something that will be done for you in your template. This is a good place to keep all that organized without doing arrangements. Now, if you don't do any sort of layers and these are all in the same layer, what you can do is just right click and say arrange send to the back. So now that's behind the illustration layer, or you can do a range, bring it to the front. So again, either way, it doesn't matter whichever way you prefer. So let me know down below in the comments, do you prefer to create separate layers in your InDesign documents or do you just do arrangements and arrange them with layers? I'd love to know which way you prefer and which way you work because I just think it's so interesting. So drop a comment below and tell me which way you organize your InDesign document. I hope this video has helped. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash Bethany Stahl or go over and check out bethanystahl.com slash classes where I have a ton of free information for you. A lot of stuff about InDesign as well. So definitely check those two resources out and I will see you all next time. Bye.